Wherever this video finds you in time and space, hello and welcome! You've probably seen some amazing Hero Forge minis out there and wondered, wow, how can I make something like that? It all starts with taking the plunge into advanced posing. Follow along as we go through the different menus, functions, and options for advanced posing some dynamic minis. You'll be ready to start your own creation in no time. Here's the mini we'll be starting with. Today, we're working with a formidable demon and her familiar. So far, she looks pretty cool, but she's a little static. I think we can make her come to life with some changes to her pose. When you click on the pose and body menus, you're probably used to scrolling through the preset options for a pose you like. This is definitely where you want to start. After selecting a basic pose, click on the advanced icon in the pose submenu. This will reveal all of the items on your mini that can be advanced posed. I'd recommend turning on the controller visibility toggle while you're working, especially if you're new to advanced posing. By clicking this icon in whatever item or joint you're working on, a red guide will appear on the miniature around the joint selected. This guide easily highlights the controlled area and can also be dragged to pose the joint instead of using the sliders. The first three sliders in advanced posing are twist, bend, and tilt. These refer to the different directions a joint can be moved in. Very often, a part of a mini like long hair or tails will have multiple joints that all have their own twist, bend, and tilt sliders. Using all three in conjunction with each other allows for extremely fine control over the miniature's pose. When posing the wrists, the twist, bend, and tilt sliders will also reveal a variety of hand poses for grips and unoccupied hands. The next group of sliders are up, side, sideways, and forward. These sliders, plus the twist slider, control positioning of an item on a mini's body or on the base. This also includes the mini itself. Most attached items can be adjusted using these sliders to put everything in their perfect places. Some parts also include a scale slider to adjust how large or small a part is. Advanced posing for items is especially helpful for creating natural movement in action poses. This also includes grip position for long, large items like banners and pole arms. No mini is complete without the right facial expression. By opening the face menu, you can change a mini's facial expression using a variety of expression sliders that can be combined with each other. Beneath the face menu is the eyes menu, which controls horizontal and vertical movement of the eyes. We wouldn't want to leave our faithful familiars out of the advanced posing fun. Most familiars have their own advanced posing options that include a number of different poses, as well as forward, sideways, and twist sliders. Now that we're armed with superior knowledge of Hero Forge's advanced posing options, let's take another crack at this demon and her familiar. I want her to look like she's just landing and ready for action. And here's the final mini. Definitely not a demon I'd want to mess with anytime soon. Or would I? Challenge yourself to take on the advanced posing options in Hero Forge's character creator and see what you can make. We love seeing your minis, so feel free to share some of them with us in the comments. And remember, the real adventure is in your own creativity.